Hello YouTube. Day seven begins. We are in the hole that was once a, ki once a kitchen floor. So the goal, I went and did some shopping last night. The goal today is to get new floor joists put in and do some rough plumbing while I've got the floor open and try to get this floor leveled out. I'm going to start by using a laser level to shoot a line, a baseline around this room and the rest of the house actually and get an idea of where things need to come up and from there I'll go joist by joist and make sure we're hitting that level or as close to it as we can get. So here we go. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. I just wanted to show what I did. I ran the laser level uh, through, actually in this doorway, which gave me a level line throughout both these rooms. And then I went around and measured distances to the floor and marked that on the walls. And I did that all the way around. And so that gave me a good picture did it in the kitchen as well a little harder to see but that gave me a good picture of where my foundation was and what problems might exist so after checking the level I found that this corner that we're pointed at right now is a good baseline for the rest of the house and so I've started running joists level to that line and they line up with this main beam that's sitting on the foundation right there at the bottom of the screen so that's going to be where i'm going to start off i'm going to level this half of the kitchen with all new joists and then from there i'm going to move to this wall that goes down the center of the house and it kind of goes wavy so i'm going to have to lift it up in certain places and see how close to level i can get and from there then i'll move down and address the bowing in the centers of the joist but once i get this level to this exterior wall over here then i can address the bowing in the center by putting uh, supports in the center. So that's the plan for right now. I'm going to continue on today with some more joists, floor joists in here. It's hard to tell, but I cut out all the old plumbing and capped it off so we still have water. And once the joists are in, then I'll run the new plumbing and run it and rough it in. And that's where we'll go from there. Okay, so I just wanted to give a heads up on what I'm doing. Uh, if you ever run into this, you can see at one point there was a window there and this may have just been a porch so it wasn't supporting much of a load but now that there's a roof above there's a lot more load well you can see when they framed in that window to eliminate it they did not put a header up top of it and these small little uh, studs I guess you would call it are not lined up with what's below so the header is sagging between each of these studs and so right here i've used a two by six with a bottle jack and i've jacked that up so this is all level right here up until here so what i'm going to have to do is move this each time i put a joist in i'll jack up the header then i'll use a crowbar down here to lift up the bottom plate so that i can fit the joist in and make that snug so all that pressure when I lift the bottle jack down will come down into a solid joist and then I'll move over and do the same thing do the same thing and do the same thing and fix all of the sag in this wall and at the same time fix the sag in this bottom plate so that's what I'm doing right now well, I think that's going to do it for day seven. Uh, pretty productive. Uh, got some joists put in and they're lining up level and it's looking nice. Did uncover some problems with this wall and the sill plate mainly. So I'm going to have to make another 
uh, supply run, get some two by fours, and re-support this wall before I try jacking it up much more uh, because I'm afraid I'm just gonna push stuff and bend it out of, out of alignment and uh, not actually lift what I need to lift. So that's the plan for right now. I will see you guys again tomorrow. All right, thanks, bye.